Now it is time for our healing circle. Let us open our hearts to the Christ power, wisdom, and love, as together we call upon the angels of healing to draw close. We come into the soft radiance of this love as we focus and hold the healing light of the Christ star over Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Tennessee, and surrounding environs, and those uh, people who made their transition quite rapidly. So sending love and support to those families and the, those states where uh, a storm, Mother Nature, went through and there was much devastation. But we hold the light that all is in divine order and God's plan. Sending so much love and light to them. With hearts full of love and gratitude, we give our grateful thanks. Amen. Hello, everyone. (laughs) Good morning. I love our little group. (laughs) So Carol has chosen um, a reading from White Eagle from 1953. And this is a message at Christmas time. It's called that. Beloved brethren, children of earth, we come as a messenger from the world of spirit to bring you greetings, love, yes, and good tidings. You need good tidings in your world today. And he was saying this in 1953. Yes. The messengers of the Spirit come. They whisper into the hearts of men, and there is very much more going on between the world of spirit and the earth plane than you can ever comprehend. You are so accustomed to those words, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, that you do not stop to think of the meaning behind them. There there has always been a messenger from God, All the way down, a son of God has come to the earth to bring the message of life, of love, of the son, of the son, S-U-N, of life, to help man in his physical life. All are children of God, and we would bring you, not only by our words, but by the power of the Spirit amongst you, we would bring this holy message at Christmas time. The birth of the child, the sun child, that's S-U-N, more than this, the mystical child, the Christ child, the birth of the sun, S-U-N, the ancient sun, has ever been celebrated throughout the ages. It is a physical manifestation, the same as creation is a physical manifestation of that holy breath, that spirit invisible and holy. Humanity has learned to worship it, at, worship it as creator. Humanity is moving along a definite path of spiritual evolution and is learning step by step. First of all, they are learning just a little of the mystery of the incarnation, the coming into form of that holy mystical spirit. People worship it because they know that without the Son of God, S-U-N again, Son of God, life would become extinct on the earth. All the ancients knew this. It was a crude form of worship, you may think, but it was a true form of worship. And this people are lacking today because humanity is passing through a scientific age and a mental age. But man is missing the greatest need. This is the need of the human heart. The human heart cries out for love. 
and a little child brings love. Remember that this Christmas story is twofold. The Son, the cosmic child, is the solar logos, the second person, if you will, of the deity. He who was God, he who is God, he who is the creator. He who has come down from that holy estate to take form and dwell on earth. He who used the symbol of the sun child throughout the ages. <clears throat> but the second part of the story is not yet understood, nor can humanity progress much farther until this is understood, the mystical significance of the Christ Mass. The Christ Mass is the symbol of a great initiation into the holy, beautiful, sacred, heavenly mysteries. Humanity is beginning, perhaps, to comprehend, in a vague way, that there is something stirring within them, a quickening of a life. Even as the Holy Mother has given birth to her son, so man and woman on earth have to give birth to a child, the Christ child. And when man and woman have given birth to the Christ child, they have taken a great initiation. They have prepared themselves for the next step along the path, which certainly leads to the most beautiful things, the most beautiful life, the mystical birth of Christ in you and for you and for all those whom you love. For all men will pass in time through this, this experience when they will know the meaning of love, when love will be their life, when every thought and action will be a spontaneous manifestation of the Christ love. Children of the earth, this mystical love, this beautiful gift of God is hovering over you and is particularly with you during the Christ Mass. Oh, we pray, dear ones, that in the quiet of Christmas morning you will remember our message. The gift of Christ Mass is for you. It will be unfolded in your heart in the silence, and then you will hear the singing of heavenly choirs, and a little more light will be released in your heart. A little more wisdom will come, knowledge of the meaning of life, and the mystery of death will no longer be a mystery. May your vision see God everywhere, in everything, and in everybody. Remember that God in some people is almost hidden, but it is there. And it is your joy to work in daily life, to touch that God, to speak to that God, which is the Christ babe waiting to be delivered. And we say with authority that Jesus was born on Christ Mass, born in flesh, a messenger from other spheres of life who came to the earth and was the vehicle of the holy, mystical Christ God incarnate. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not let your earthly mind disturb this profound, eternal truth. Become as a little child, accept the simple story, and in due time you will get the revelation of the cosmic mystery which lies within the womb of the Divine Mother, the cosmic mystery which is the Sun, the Solar Logos, the Life, the second aspect of the Trinity. Oh, the wonder and the glory which is to be revealed to you in due time as you walk the path, his path, and follow his example to love, love, and greater love, the blessing which God has given to humanity. A very happy Christmas with full joyous hearts, which nothing can disturb. God bless you all. God be with you during your life, and especially may you realize his presence this Christmas tide. Amen.